here and I decided to put a bunch of clips together of me throughout the entire ski season to give you guys a picture of what it's like to be a ski racer and I really hope you enjoy so without further ado let's get ready to go to the mountain my day actually starts the night before when I have to lay out and prepare all the stuff I need to bring to the mountain the next day and there's a lot of different stuff I need to bring like my race suit and my bib and my helmet and goggles and boots and skis and poles and everything and of course I cannot forget my hand warmers and my pass. I usually lay everything out by the door so the next morning I can easily grab it and I also lay out what I'm going to wear the next day so I usually lay out my Sorrells, my ski socks and my GoPro and extra chargers and things like that so that I can be all ready because I like to get ready in like 10 minutes before I go to the mountain. The time I wake up in the morning usually depends whether or not it's a race day or just a training day but usually we have to leave at about 5.30 or 6 so we have to get up super early. However, this ride to the mountain, even though it's super early in the morning, is a really enjoyable ride. I absolutely love the view and it takes us about an hour and a half to sometimes two hours if we're riding the bus to get up to the mountain, but it's just a great time to kind of prepare for the fun and exciting day ahead. My team and I get ready in the lodge and here is a time lapse video of get us getting ready at super speed. It usually takes us about 15 to 20 minutes kind of depending on how awake we are to get ready because we have a lot of different things that we have to put on. Being first in line to start the day skiing is always an exciting thing and usually we are up at the top of the race course at about 9 to slip slash inspect the course so we know what to prepare for for our first run and so we're all just hanging out here ready to slip the course. We usually spend a lot of time riding the lifts together which is always really fun because I absolutely love everyone on my team and we always have a blast together. We're all so supportive and we love cheering each other on during our races. It's just really fun to be a part of a group that always cheers for one another and we always have a great time. After our first run we're usually starving so we all chill out at the top of the course together and kind of eat food and hang out and just have a great time. <laughs> A typical training day usually consists of us just lapping through the course so we can get lots of practice and that way our coaches can give us feedback on all the different runs. On this particular day I was training the slalom which is my least favorite. I like GS a lot better but um, it was just good to get some practice in the gates and have that awesome feeling of punching them down. <laughs> Here I am skiing in McCall, Idaho, which is definitely one of my favorite places to ski, and I'm skiing at Brundage on the 45th parallel, which is definitely a favorite of mine. I love the run because it's super long and it has a lot of different pitches, and it's always an exciting run. Back at home on Mount Hood, I usually like to finish off the day on the mile. I love to ski and this is one of those times where you just definitely feel on top of the world among the clouds and just skiing all the way down. It's a long way but it's definitely worth it. And of course we have to tuck all the way back to the lodge and usually we go in or start to pack up around 3, 3.30ish to call it a day because we have been up since 5 o'clock and it's time to go home. But after a great long day of skiing, it's always a happy feeling to be home in your own bed and just think about the great, wonderful day that you had at the mountain.
thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and maybe got a little picture into what it's like to be a ski racer. Stay tuned for more videos to come and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll talk to you guys soon.